So we decided to come down to the Gadget Show live at Studio Hardy here for uh, SBTV Games and Gadgets, of course, with my man, Logan Sama. He's brought down here too. Uh, what are we going to be checking out? What do you reckon? Everything. I just want to see what cool stuff there is I can waste all of my money on. So we are here at the TomTom Tom stand and we're going to talk about the Nike Sportswatch GPS. So am I could see, because obviously you actually have, you have a Nike fuel band. Yeah, I've used the fuel band. I actually own one of these as well. Okay, so like talk us through like the big differences between the two, right? Okay, so the fuel band works, it's got an accelerator in, so as you exercise, it works out approximately how much okay. energy you burn based okay. on your movement. But, but um, movements of your arms, so like if you're yeah. doing like plank and stuff like that. If quite I'm a doing push-ups and my, I don't move at all or pull-ups, okay. it doesn't register. Really it's more for okay. being active, you know, if you're doing cardio, that sort of stuff. Now this is specifically done for running. So how it works, it's got all of the standard night plus stuff in it as well, so it will work out your uh, your pulse and all that sort of stuff. It's got the same. So it's got like a heart rate monitor in it. Yeah, that's yeah, actually really useful. Yeah, all yeah, that sort okay. of stuff as well. But the main point of it is, is if you run a lot, um, it's actually okay. got Tom Tom. GPS in. So, okay. if you go out for a run and you tell someone, oh yeah, I ran five miles, they, they can, can actually check, check <laughs> on the computer and it will plot. It will plot your, it will actually plot that you actually walked to the shops and back and didn't run anywhere. Does it There's know something. what you bought at the shops <laughs> No, Thank unfortunately you can't work that out. So, uh, you're, you're, Phew. you're safe, your you're curly whirly addiction is. My nourishment. Oh, okay. oh, it's all good. It's got a USB port there. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, so you can plug it into your computer and it'll actually show your route. Uh, that you've ran, okay. and so you can see exactly how far you've run, and you know. Does it show you like on your run, like what your heart was at different yeah, points? Yeah, and so it you can tell you how fast like you're it. running, um, your average speed, uh, average speed for a mile, all that stuff. So it's really good, and you can log it all uh, on the Night Plus website as well. So it's really That's useful. That's really good. Yeah. Okay, so obviously uh, a lot more in depth than obviously the Night Fuel Band. So like maybe like you. Night fuel band's probably more for like a kind of light user, maybe you just want to, you know, be a little bit more. Oh, this, active. Is, this is definitely this for the is more for the... serious runner, do you know what I mean? Um, cool, the fuel right? band's more for, you know, the, the generally people that like to keep active and fit. You want to see how much you're And you're they like burning. points. Exactly, it's, it's more, this is more of a motivator. Okay, and this, yeah. this is really to sort of really have a, have a proper record of, of exactly how much you've done. Out my hair, getting a bit weird. I'm just going to do that and just. Uh, just gonna go, oh! TV. Oh, there's Netflix. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. It's pretty amazing. Look at that. We all know that, you know, everyone kind of gets a bit annoyed about basically having like big TVs in their room. Well, some people do. I don't. I think it's great. But if you don't want it anymore, a pow, turn it off, back to a mirror. Logan and I found this thing called the OP1, which is basically like a portable synthesizer, which is pretty incredible actually. You can do an awful lot of fun little things with it. It comes with like four tracks, so you can obviously lay over the different yeah. sound. You can make uh, drum beats, make kind of like different kind of bass lines and loop them as well, kind of set in and out points, which is quite exciting. You can also record audio. As you can hear, we've already made a kind of like bass track with a bit of a, like a bass line and a drum beat looping, and now being forced to sing into it. Yeah, just find the groove, find the groove. We're at the Gadget Show Live, we're at the Gadget Show Live. I need to get really close and make sure I can hear this perfectly. We're at the Gadget Show Live, we're at the Gadget Show Live. I mean, obviously, you're a musical man. Do you think that's the next number one hit? Would you play that? It needs a little bit more auto tune. A little bit more. That's the, that's the only problem you can see with it, other is the other than, other than that, it's, it's a surefire hit. <laughs> what do you think? I mean, you're pretty impressive. It's it's really, I don't know what I like the most. I like the styling the most. It looks like yeah. one of those cool little 80s MIDI units that you used to have way yeah. back in the day. It's cool to play around with, man. I mean, it's, it's super portable. And one of the things that's really great about it as well is it's not just twiddling knobs as well. It's got a gyroscope in it, so you can be playing sort of your, your, your synth, your top line, and sort of as you move the thing around, it orders the pitch. <laughs> like, like a wah-wah pedal sort of effect. Just by Apparently it comes with a strap, thing. so do you think you might be sporting one? Oh look, there you go. I think you should see what you look like with it on. What were those? Do you know what? It looks tiny next to you now. It looks like a chain, you know, I feel like... Um... Yeah, it's like Flavor Flay, right? Yeah. Oh, that is actually your, your hit single. That's going to haunt my dreams, you know. No, 
it's, it's catchy. I'm, I'm it fucking is. <laughs> <laughs> So here we have Microsoft Surface, their brand new iPad Vita, is it? Let's have a look. It's a little bit bigger, only very, ever so slightly, but it feels a lot more sturdy in a lot of ways. Uh, some of the interesting features about it are, look, USB port. You know that sort of annoying sensation when you like want to print something and it's not going to work? You can actually just plug things in directly here, which is like frankly revolutionary. But it's also actually got an SD card port as well. A fold-out screen like this, which has a keyboard on it as well, um, as well as a stand at the back here. So anyone who's used like an Xbox will be actually very, very familiar with this is very much like the kind of like the dashboard from there. So you've got kind of like the different squares. Uh, one of the things you can do on this is you can actually completely personalize it. Sometimes, you know, you might lend someone like your iPad or, you know, your other tablet or whatever. And it's just they have immediate access to absolutely everything, like all your emails, you know, maybe there's things that you don't want them to see. On this one, you can actually log in and log out. So you can switch over to actually another user, so then obviously it will have whatever their thing is. So this one is... So you could set a picture of anything you like and then have a kind of different sort of swipe technique to open it up. So obviously this is another user and it's completely set up like how you like it. Of course you can click to go to your desktop and use it as you would a normal computer. Microsoft Office comes free with it, which is fantastic. So if you've got to do any work, you don't have to like buy a separate copy of it. It's just already installed, which is fantastic. So you can go into Word, straight away open it up. It's super fast, very, very quick. You can type on this keypad, which is fantastic. It's also got like a, a trackball here if you want to click on things specifically. But of course you can still use the touch screen as well, depending on how you want to work. If you're not a fan of kind of rubberized keypads, they're actually bringing out a one which has clicky keys, which frankly is much better for me. I like to know what I'm typing. The uh, tablet can be used as a second screen. So like say for example, you want to play Dance Central uh, on your Xbox, you can actually use this to kind of queue up the next track and things like that, or things in Halo 4. You can actually use it as a map so it's like this kind of dual screen gaming, which is obviously very big now, obviously, because of the Wii U, but you don't actually have to buy an extra controller. You could actually get yourself a tablet and just use it with your Xbox. I'd probably be more inclined to do that, I reckon. So we are now in basically a hot tub jacuzzi that is pretty much bigger than my bedroom, I reckon. It's got 60 jets TV, look at that. You can plug in your iPod and then you can control it from here. It's got like a weird kind of car stereo thing there, it's pretty rad. Would you spend 25 grand on it if you had 25 grand to spend? What can you buy for 25 grand? Uh, like, a car. This is probably better than most cars you can buy for 25 grand. That's true, actually. That's true. But you're not really going to go. But, but to be fair, you probably wouldn't want to go anywhere if you had this in your garden. No. As you said, you'd be pruning it up every day. Pruning it up every day. Uh, yeah. It's pretty good. I like, I like the jazzy light show as well. Oh, they change colours. Wow. It's just what you need. That's, that, that just makes it worth the 25 grand for me. That's you know what, I wasn't going to buy it. Put it over the top. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, I wasn't going to buy it. But now I've seen that light. That's, uh, that's really solid to me. Awesome, awesome. See, I've got to thank Jamal as well for uh, giving me the opportunity to get in a hot tub with uh, Julia Hardy. Uh, I'm sure all be... of your Twitter followers would be immensely jealous of this. Yeah, um, it's probably yeah, it's probably better than a clothes, that would have been weird. But also uh, thanks to Jamal as well for basically paying off the huge expense bill that he's going to get from the Gadget Life because we're basically just going to put this on the SBTV company credit card. Two, two of them. Two of them, so yeah. But yeah, Jamal's got like 50 grand spare, right? At least. It'll be fine. At least. It's fine. Thanks, Jamal. Thanks, Holmes. That looks like a glory hole. <laughs> I don't think you should put anything in there. Oh. <laughs>